Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Today, me, I'm having some sour soft leaf tea. But today, you will find me coming to you from the book of Psalms 31, and we'll be reading verse 21 and 22. It says, Beloved be the Lord. For he has made marvelous his loving kindness to me in a besieged city. As for me, I said in my alarm, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard my voice. You heard the voice of my supplication when I cried to you. And then we could jump right back and go to Psalms. Psalms 27. We go to Psalms 27. And in Psalms 27, we see where um, the psalmist is talking about um, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evildoers come up against me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies they stumble and fell he said do it host and camp against me my heart will not fail i'll stop right there you know going back to our earlier reading um from 31 and reading with verse um, 21 he says even in a besieged city he says i've seen the marvelous works of lord i've seen where god has been there for me Today, you might be on your job, in your home, in your school. You may feel like you are a city under siege. You may feel like that there's so much turmoil around you and that there is no hope and that you feel like giving up. I want to say to you today, continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Continue to trust God where you can't trace him. My mother always used those words, trust God where you can't trace him. And he says, even in the midst of it, he says he has seen the loving kindness and the tender mercies of God. If you continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand, you would see God's loving kindness. You would see his tender mercies. Jesus Christ has admonished us in the book of Matthew that men are to always pray and not to faint. He said, come unto me, all ye that are labor and heavy laden. And he said, I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He says, whatever you're going through, don't care how it is. Don't care how you may feel downcast. He said, listen, I am with you. He said, I will be with you even until the end of the age. Continue to hold on to the unchanging hands of God. Continue to allow God to strengthen you. And you will be like the psalmist who saw and felt the marvelous works of the Lord. Even in the besieged city, he felt that he was covered. He felt protected. He felt strengthened. Uh, and he says, marvelous were your works. Today, you could share that same testimony if you prove faithful. Continue. The enemy will come at you with everything, even the kitchen zinc. But I will tell you to hold on to God's unchanging hands. Never let go. Never let go. And if you stumble, continue. Get yourself back up and hold on to God's unchanging hands. God will keep you safe. He will strengthen you. He promises to be your very present help in time of trouble. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, we just thank you for everyone that is out there today that is hearing this message. Father God, Father God, that you would be their very present help in time of trouble. Father God, that you would be their constant companion, that you would be their constant hope. And Father God, that you would be that hope that will never make a shame, oh God. Father, we just thank you for anyone that is going through today. Maybe they may feel downcast. Maybe they may be on the top of their game game today. But Father God, we all need you. Father God, we can do nothing on ourselves. We always need your help. We need your guidance. We need your protection. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, if you love this broadcast, you can go and share it in your WhatsApp group, share it in your family group, share it in your church groups, share it in your school groups. And also, you can tell them they can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip, which is spelled U-R-V apostrophe Z-S. Remember this. Go out and share love today. Help someone to understand that Jesus Christ is still that eternal hope, even when you feel like you're in a besieged city. This is your Morning Sip. Go out and share love today and help someone to know Jesus Christ is mighty to save.